All right, time for another math. Easy. So we're going to discuss some uh, special factoring uh, methods here on difference of squares, and also do some examples on it. So what I mean by this is basically if you have a function like like this one here, x squared minus four, and you want to factor it, you can see the video link below on factoring. What I mean by it, basically this is a difference or a subtraction of squares here, because this is going to be x squared, and this four is going can be written as negative uh, well two squared here. So you're minus two squared. So this one. And if you were to factor it or basically reduce the uh, this, this power here, you can get it as x right here, x minus 2, and x plus 2 right here. And in fact, uh, yeah, th this is actually true for all squares here. I'll show you how to get this uh, uh, soon. Basically, if this was a 4 squared, this would just be negative 4 plus 4 here. And if you were to FOIL it out, uh, you just expand it out using the FOIL method, basically multiply this by both, or and then it's negative 2 by both of these and add them up. You can see the link below on FOIL method. You'll just get x squared minus 2x plus 2x, and then this is going to be minus 4 right here, and, and this right here cancels here. So this equals 0 over there, and this one will just get x squared minus 4. So there's a just a check that this is the correct answer here. Now, if we look at just an in general case, we so we just pick these random variables a and b. So if you uh, expand this one at a minus b and a plus b. This just equals to exactly like uh, before, just FOIL this out. So this one over here and here, and we're going to get again a squared minus, this is going to be uh, BA plus BA, and then plus, I mean minus, uh, this one's going to be B squared right here. And then this, this again, this cancels. So we're going to be left with right here, A squared minus B squared, and there's our difference of squares formula. Yeah, thus we have this difference of squares formula, a squared minus b squared just equals to a minus b times a plus b right here. Now if we look at some, some examples here, some quick ones here, we'll look at this one for example, 1x squared minus 16. Well, this one we could write it as a, as a square as well. This one is going to be uh, this minus 4 squared. And similar to above, all we do is just write it in the completed squares formula right here. This is a really useful formula, so you should uh, memorize it. It will just simplify a lot of stuff. This will just be minus 4. This is going to be x plus 4. So there's our answer. Now if we look at example 2 here, this one's 4x squared minus 25. This one, uh, this is just the only difference we have a coefficient in front here. But this one's also could be written as a square. So you could write it as 2x squared right here. So then this one's going to be, a f if you expand this, it's going to be 4x squared. And this is going to be a minus 5 squared. So now this is our new a, this is our new b. And we write it exactly like above. 2x minus 5. And then 2x plus 5 here. So all you got to do is find the squares of it and then just, uh, do this. Now a bit of a harder example, example 3, 9x uh, power of 6 minus uh, y8 here. Now the, now we have two variables, but it again doesn't really matter. We just find the squares. And this one here is a coefficient in front. So then we, we could write this as a square. This could be just now 3x squared right here. And then, and then I mean, uh, not a squared, uh, a, Q, uh, a 3 right here, x so the x to the 3, and this one be squared here. So if you expand this out, 3 squared is equal to 9, and then x to the 3, uh, if you have, let's say, x3 to the power of 2, this just equals to, well, x to the 6. You see video link below on more on power functions here. Basically, you would just multiply here, but then this one here, you would just do 3 to the power of 2, which is going to be 9. And then this is going to be minus y to the 4, y to the 4, and then squared. So similar as this one here. So when you have a power here, you just multiply the, the two. This is going to be four. Uh, squared is going to be eight. So now, uh, so now, uh, yeah. So we just plug it in exactly like like before. So now we get. Let's put this right here. Put an arrow there. So then we're going to get three x cubed minus y to the four times three x cubed plus y to the four here. Now the last example. This one is just a, a bit tricky one here. The x to the four minus one. Now this one's going to be written as a square as well. It's going to be x squared squared minus, well, 1 squared. 1 is going to always be written as a square because 1 squared is always going to be 1, uh, etc. there. So it's it's always a square here. The square doesn't really change the value of it. So now we're going to have something like this. Now we could write this exactly like as the formula x squared minus 1 and then x squared plus 1 right here. But now this is also a difference of squares right here. So we could uh, simplify this even further. This one, this one's again is written as x squared minus one to the squared. Uh, so you, you could write that one as as a s difference of squares. Then if we simplify it all further, so we just do this one. You plug plug this into the formula as well. We're gonna have x minus one, x plus one, and then times it by the last one, x squared plus one here. And then there you go. There's your uh, 
there's the factoring for this uh, function right here. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully, you, uh, you learned from this one here. Remember, you can download these notes in the Dropbox link below. And also, this is just a very useful format just to keep this in mind. This one right here, and especially when you're uh, just working in your exams or whatnot, you can s you can basically simplify the formula and factor it. Especially if you have to solve for, let's say, x or, or etc. When you factoring will help it. Well, that's all for today, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.